Hello Z-Bird, welcome to Zebra's Arcade. Today we are trying out Spelunky 2. If you don't know, Spelunky 1, the original, is one of my favorite games ever. It is a side-scrolling roguelike game, so it's super duper challenging. You're trying to get to the end, and if you die, you have to start the whole game over again. It's really tough, but so much fun. So of course, I have been eagerly waiting for years for Spelunky 2, so definitely, if you guys enjoyed this first video, let me know and maybe we can turn this into a full series, but for right now, let's go ahead and check out Spelunky 2. Ooh. Are we in space? Ah, oh, that is so cool. Oh. Ah, the puppy's back. Oh, she's so cute. So she's supposed to be the daughter of the main character of the last game. <laughs> Aww. Pushing aside my fears, I pulled out my torch and vowed to return alive. So here we are, we're choosing our adventure. I think we really only, oh no, we have different characters. And it's so cool, because I think they're all like, oh, I like Rafi. They're all like descendants or relatives or just something um, to some of the characters in the first game. This is supposed to pay, take place like much after, as far as I understand. But here's Anna, who I definitely know is the daughter of the main character from the first game. So let's go ahead and try Anna out. Oh, this is so cool. I just, I can't wait. Because I just want more Spelunky, you know? Oh, there's the puppy. So it looks like we'll have a tutorial first. I haven't played in so long. So if I'm awful at the game, I do apologize. There should be a way to pick things up. Ah, oh, there we go. And what does this say? Wow, it's been 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Almec with his treasure. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, I guess, is he here then? I guess so, maybe we're trying to save him. But is this the same dog? I, I, I maybe, maybe it's also like the child of the dog. Either way, let's go down this way. I think this is sort of a bit of a tutorial. Whoa, look at this. Oh, the art is so good. So of course we can like sort of jump on ledges. What is this sign? The dreams began when Anna turned five. In the dream, I look out the window at, a, at the full moon and see Olmec's face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into the lake of lava, didn't we? Hope so. Uh, oh, ow, that hurt. Yeah, if we fall too far, it can it can be a bit of a pain. You gotta be careful with that. You can jump down from the ledge now if you go like that. That might help you out a little bit. And of course, there's enemies to attack that you can use a little whip with, and there's treasure to be found. A big part of this game is finding treasure. And then we can pick items up, like this rock, and throw it at enemies as well. That's sort of the cool thing about Spelunky is that it's very versatile in terms of, uh, there we go, uh, how much you can really do. Hmm, so what's going on up there? Uh, our curiosity was too much to resist. With Colin's help, Tina and I built a spaceship that could take us to the moon. Anna wants to come, but it feels a little dangerous and I think she should stay and finish out the school year. Besides, we should be back before she knows it. There's probably nothing here anyway. Oh no, I don't think it worked out that way. So both of her parents laughed. What was this say? Press plus to access the options menu and change your control scheme. I'm fine with this one. What is that? Are these bombs? It didn't look like it in that picture, but I guess so. And there we go. Bombs are super useful because they can explode the terrain and you can explore it more. It's very sort of, uh, the whole area is very malleable. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we brought Anna with us. She loves space and we keep, show, we keep wanting to show her things in the ship. At least she has Monty to keep her company. And I'm guessing they just never returned. Anyways, as you can see here, we get some rope. Rope is also super useful because we can just throw that up. I love the little picture of the dog. Is that like this? Yeah, I guess this is like a little plushy version. Interesting. And I guess we'll get across here. There we go. And yeah, I guess you run at full speed automatically. And there's little bats as well. These are all like placeholder enemies. But eventually we'll have to deal with real enemies and they're much more difficult. It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon and a cave. A feeling of deja vu swept over us and we were down, drawn toward the entrance like iron filings to a magnet. A voice is calling to us. 
Is it Olmec or something else? Ooh, ominous. And of course, we can swim as well. All right, oh, got it. We can go through this door. Oh, wow. Whoa, this is new. That's not how the original game would work. That's what I'm excited about. I just wanted to have that same Spelunky feel, but just have more content, and that's exactly what's going on so far. And it looks like if I want to, I, I could you know, skip out on some stuff there. If I'm doing good with platforming. And I guess, yeah, we sort of made full circle there. We've been in the moon for what feels like many months already, but it's hard to tell. Just like before, time and death work differently here. It feels like we've slipped into another crack in the universe, like the Cave of Olmec. Connected to it, perhaps, but also bigger, much bigger. Huh. So Olmec and his traps are back again. Anything up here? Not yet. You got the journal. Okay, so it looks like we do have some more stuff. Oh, oh, there's a key. Uh, just remember what we taught you and you'll be fine. This journal is yours now. Make the most of it and I'll see you soon. Happy spelunking or spelunky-ing. Oh, no, I didn't see this left, left page, sorry. Um, Anna, if you're reading this, then you'll probably guess that mom and dad are somewhere down below, trying to find a way out. I'm sorry we should have brought you with us, but try not to worry. To be honest, we're having fun. Take your time and don't rush. Remember, it's easier to get hurt if you're not careful. Oh, that is so true for Spelunky. So there we go. We gotta look for our parents. And we got the key, which you could put in here. <laughs> he looks so goofy. Oh, you got this. Let's hope. Now, I don't think we're gonna get very far in today's video, but I'll definitely try. Cause Spelunky just takes a lot of trial and error and just being good at the game. The walls are shifting. Ooh. Whoa. Cause the art style is like improved, but mostly, you know, familiar. And it's awesome. Oh boy. I just, I can't wait. Like I can't even explain how excited I am. Cause it's just, uh, I put in like, I had to, I, can't, I gotta imagine. Ooh, journal entry. Oh yeah, so we get journal entry for every type of like enemy and thing we find like in the beast area and stuff. That's cool. But I probably put in like a good like couple hundred hours into that game. It would be something. It would, it would be a lot of fun to play with friends out there if they were just like watching me play or we were playing together because it was a pretty fun. What is that thing? That's new. Will that hurt me? Oh, that does hurt me. Okay. Oh, terrible. Chill runs up my. Sp Already? Oh no, we got a ghost chasing us. Usually that happens if we take too long in, in a level, but I feel like we haven't been around for very long and th this guy's already chasing us down. Weird. What did I do about that? Oh boy. So in general, they don't explain this too much in the tutorial, you're sort of just supposed to discover it. Ah, oh no. But the ghost is a one hit takedown. Um, where am I? I can't feel my body. Game over. We, we died in the first level. So what happens is we start all over again on the first level. That's how it works here. Ow, oh, everything is so painful in this game, ow. Wait, <laughs> no. And that's what I'm talking about. It's so tough, but it's one of those things where you love, you learn to love it. I mean, I already do, but you, you know what I mean. Ow, I just definitely need to get used to it too. But that's why I'm like, I don't expect to make it very far in today's video. Cause it's been a couple years since I've even played the original Spelunky, but it's a game I would complete. Oh, so you see that pot down there? That pot spawns the ghost. That's new. You can see it has a little ghostly face. Why the ghost is so useful, but also so scary. I already activated, no I didn't, there we go. So if I put a rope down, it'll activate this little thing, which shoots out an arrow. Now those things do two damage to me, which is not fun. I gotta be careful of that. Oh my, spider, let's get rid of him. Boop, there we go. Um. But why the ghost is so useful is that if you make it fly over any gems that you might find, it'll turn them into full diamonds, which give you more money. Money is a big thing in this game, like there's a gem right there. Um, that's sort of the big goal, is to get as good of a score as you can through collecting treasure. Anyways, um, yeah, these little things can be a problem. These little, uh, so you wanna just sort of throw something in front of them that activate them. I'm sorry, puppy, I didn't mean to do that. So the puppy is going to show up on, I think, every level. Oh boy. Uh, oh man, my jumping skills are not the best right now. There we go, I got you. Uh, and if we bring the puppy to the end of the level, we should get some extra health for, as a reward. Hmm. There we go. Right now I'm just trying to get to the end of this one and see how that works out. Ah, oh, but I'm so clumsy, I'm sorry. 
Oh boy. But that's why it's just like, that's why I appreciate how the quick the game can be and how snappy. Because you really need to make the most of that time. I'm going to uh, do that. Oh, it was a snake. Okay, so don't go down there because there's another trap. Oh, but I probably, there's gonna be another way around, I'm sure. I need to jump right away. Oh, quick reactions. Oh, the skeleton. That's another new enemy. See, there's lots to explore because it's just spelunky in space. And I really hope that we see a lot of new stuff because of that, as you can see, that was a new enemy for sure. Oh, so these guys, whoa. Wow, okay, okay, no taken, no taken. Ow, come on, I couldn't even get up, ah! Oh. oh no! <laughs> right into a couple of new enemies there. Oh, okay, we got a rock this time. Oh, what is with that? Over this way, maybe I should also, I'm gonna try to activate that so it doesn't come back to bite me. I wanna try to get in there. Did that work? It did, but I gotta go up like this. Hmm, yeah, where will this lead? Whoa, it's just this cool little secret room. That's so new. Trying to be careful about this guy. Ready? No, oh, come on, no! Come on, come on, get up, get up, get up! They're tough, they're really tough. You gotta be careful about them. Oh man, I didn't even see that. Assessing a situation and trying to be really careful about it is a learned skill in Spelunky. It's a game that ooh, moves quickly, but you have to learn how to take it slow, even through all that. Because I'm already down to one health, as you can see on the top left. And I would like to get up here. There we go, get some extra money. The money will be useful because we do, haven't gotten that far yet, but you do eventually run into shops. Yeah, I'm gonna do that so that I can just put the pup there. And back over this way. Looked like we had some free stuff to grab. Oh, okay, that didn't really get me anything though. Pick up this one. Sometimes they'll have gems in them like that did. Whoa, what is that in the, what is that? I don't know what's in the ground though, that's new. Whoa, it's this guy, he's like a little ground hog. Oh, I'm not giving up until we make it farther than this one. And we have plenty of time in today's video. I would like to play the game for at least like 30, 45 minutes because I'm having a lot of fun. That's why Splunky would be a lot of fun of the series, because it's just sort of, ow, a lot of trial and error, and you just learn a little bit more each time you play it, and then before you know it, you're getting to the end, and you're beating the, the boss with, you know, different stuff. It's cool. It's a very replayable game. You can, like, beat it multiple times and still, you know, find new stuff each time. There we go. And I'm pretty sure there's, like, you know, different characters to unlock. Most of them are cosmetic. There we go. Got rid of him. Well, I say that, but he's still... Oh no. Oh, okay, that got him. And what's over here? Ah! Gotta be careful. Well, I got some extra rope out of it. Okay, so I don't have a ton of money right now. We have 3,500, but there's some extra cash laying around. Hmm, there's that ghost jar again. I don't think I'm gonna do that. That definitely is a more advanced strategy is to utilize the ghost to make extra money. Right now, I'm just focused on getting into the end, which this is the exit, as you can see. And with it, um, I was able to deliver the dog. Very cool. So look at this, we finally made it through. Awesome. One, one completed. So we got ourselves some extra health there. and We didn't lose any either. So we're actually up to four health and ooh, you can't see a thing. So I guess there are certain rooms like this where maybe there's a certain element of something going on. Um, this time, it's, at, it's very dark, but it looks like Oh yeah, I sort of remember this from Splunky One. We can light up all these torches and they'll give us some extra money for doing so. Oh, that was a good combo. Awesome. Now I don't know, if there's really too much of a reason to destroy these, but they're around a lot, these little bone blocks. I don't really remember them too much. Now I can't really mess with that one torch. It's too much in the spikes. Oh, who is that down there? Is that a shop? That's new. I love the art style to this game. Just like the original. Oh, there you are, little pup. And I'll also do one here. I still have three rope left over. It's it's very good idea to stay conservative in terms of uh, your items, trying to make the most of everything. And we get more rope out of it, nice. So for right now, 
I'm actually going to... Oh, actually, I don't know if it's a good idea. I'll put that down there. No, my rope! Oh, I didn't know that could happen. I ended up wasting a rope anyways, darn. Oh, oh, I need you. Thank you. That's cool, that's um, a scarab. They give you a lot of money for just picking them up. I think it was like a good couple thousand or something. No, 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 save my pup. Oh, that was close. And that's where I'm saying, sometimes in this game, I'm looking for turkeys who wanna help. Give me a second. Um, You need to be quick in this game. You need to be fast or things will get the better of you. But also if you may move too fast, it's very easy to make mistakes. Either way, what's going on with you? How do I help? So I got a turkey here. And do I just give you the turkey? Or maybe I have to bring them into this little room. I wish you would tell me. If I attack him, he'll probably start attacking me and that's not what I want. You know, I have enough enemies to deal with as it is. <laughs> but that's certainly fascinating. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm dead. And that's how quickly things can fall apart. Cause what happened there is I jumped in front of the arrow shooter. I didn't even see that. This is the furthest that I've ever gotten. Yes, it is. <laughs> cool. So there we go. Lots of lessons learned there. We saw some new stuff just with one level getting, you know, we got one level farther. And that's where the beauty of Spunky really comes in. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to squish the sink there. But it's fine. Okay. So one trick you can do and I don't really suggest it because it's not easy, but you can time your arrow whip. Ah, so it smacks the arrow away as it shoots at you. And that's probably like, you know, I should probably just not do that. But if I have the chance to conserve some of my items. Oh, it's a turkey again. Whoa, I can ride the turkey. Look at me, cave turkey, a large meaty bird best known for its, its fleshy waddle, also known as a snood. Look at me. Wait, I can't. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so out, cool. No turkey, are you all right? No turkey! The fun did not last very long. That was so cool though. Okay, I'm trying to find out a way to bomb this without hurting the pup. I think that'd be okay. And it is. Oh, that was probably not the best placement for a rope because I need to put another one to get up here. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm bound to make a lot of mistakes right now. Okay, that'll hurt the dog, but I think he's still alive. He has a decent amount of health. Ah, help! I need to not do that. You always need to sort of double check what's around you. Being in, aware of your environment is so crucial in this game. It's crazy. Well, okay. Didn't mean to jump over him like that, but it worked the way it worked. What? Hey! Hmm. I'm trying to find the best way to get up there. No, that's not what I wanted. That might be good. Uh, I might want to reconsider that. This guy is snoozing. Yeah, there's actually not too much up here in this way. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, nice hit though. <laughs> I like it. We got to do that more often. Okay, let me get back up there then. There's still so much we haven't really found yet. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing so good this level so far, but I'm hoping. Oh, oh, what's this? I didn't even see that. That blends in real well. There's not much in here. There's a little bit of gold in the wall, um, which if you, I were to bomb that, like you can see that right here to my left. Um, I think I might move on from this one. I have a feeling I'm like wasting a lot of my materials just walking around like this. Uh, but. Oh, why didn't I think you were gonna attack me? I'm so silly. I'm so very silly. Ah! But you can bomb those areas and get uh, whatever is in the wall. Okay, this time for real. I'm gonna say that a lot, aren't I? This time for real though, I'm going to do well. We're gonna get far. I'm gonna earn up a lot of money. We'll check out a lot of stuff. So I see that little arrow shooter. If I throw this bone skull down, and get some extra stuff out of it. I might as well, oh, is there any way I can get up there on my own? I don't think so. So I'm just going to do that so I can get up there. And you gotta be careful with the spider webs, as you can see, they really slow you down. But that strategic placement of the rope was allowing me to get to both sides, which is good. All right. 
good to plop down here a little bit. But just adventuring in this game and just finding what this world has in store for us is so much fun. It's probably one of the best indie games I've ever played. It's fantastic. I definitely recommend it. If, if platforming games, especially really challenging ones, is sort of your thing, you gotta give it a try. There we go. I know that the very, very original Spelunky, not the remastered one, but the original like 8-bit one, was actually free to play. It plays a lot differently than the remade version and this game, but it's still a very good game. That was like, what, like 10 years ago now? A long time ago. Anyways, I don't want the dog to get hurt because I'm pretty sure that if he gets hurt, he gives you less health maybe? I don't remember, but I just don't want to get hurt because if he does get fully taken out, he, uh, well, oh, that was good. He is not able to give you any health, even if you bring him to the end. Oh, I tried, I really did. This guy stinks the go gets. He's like the toughest enemy we've run into. No, my puppy, I went from full health to nothing. That That is something you'll experience a lot in Spelunky. No matter how much health you have, that's sort of a thing. Um, I know there's certain ways to get to like 99 health in the original Spelunky, but a spike, no matter how much health you have, a spike is one hit takedown. But we did get to level one, two again. I'm down to one health though, so I have to be supremely careful. Uh, boop. I'm going to try to avoid the little armadillo guy because he's just too much for me. Ooh, okay, so this is interesting, okay. I thought that was one of the arrow shooters. This is one of the sacrifice ah, stations. What you can do is you can actually put like the cavemen or anything that you can knock out, you can put it on there and it will sometimes give you rewards like extra health. Uh, either way, oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna restart that one. Yeah, <laughs> that one didn't turn out very well. I just wanted a fresh start. But I definitely wanna to get to like area two before the end of this video. That's my goal. If I can do that, I'd be pretty pleased. Either way, oh, there's the caveman. So once again, if we can find one of the Kali, I think it's Kali. It, it's like some kind of a mythology thing. But if we can find, oh, okay. Wow, find one of those, we can put that caveman on it and get some extra rewards for it. Sometimes they'll give items, extra health, all that kind of good stuff. I'll put a bomb there and let's hope that that opens up the chest area. Ooh, it does. Hmm. Okay, so for right now, I will definitely open up that chest, give me some extra money. Sometimes chests can give items as well. Oh my. So I'm noticing that some of these bone blocks have spikes on them. Now remember that ghost pot We'll spawn a ghost, and the ghosts aren't very nice, so we, we gotta be careful of that too. Lots of being careful. And that's what like makes this game feel, in my opinion, very authentic, is that just in the way that, like, say, Indiana Jones, the movies felt, right? Every turn of a corner was a potential death trap to Indiana Jones. And I feel like that is so encapsulated in this game. Every single step, something could go awfully wrong and it can all fall apart. All right, I need to be quick with this. I don't want the dog to. Ah, oh, I'm so clumsy. Ah, oh, no. Sorry, doggy. You're still kicking though. Okay, you're fine. I was trying to get the rock out before he would get across there. I feel like if I was more in practice, I could have done that. All right, boing, I'm gonna bounce on you. Oh, that, that caveman actually has some money on him. So I don't wanna go through this until I'm actually good to go because I, I definitely wanna try to get to the caveman. Boing, got him, gotcha. All right, put that there. Ooh, interesting. That's not exactly what I was going for there, but I might be able to make this jump. Yeah, I can, no problem, no problem. Sorry for stealing your money, Mr. Caveman, but I wanna see what's going on. Ooh. Oh, now we're here. Oh, that's so interesting. I'm still sort of getting used to all that, so this is gonna lead to where the caveman is there. I don't really need to worry about that, as you can see. So I gotta time this well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we took him out too. So we're good, we got through this level, we earned some decent cash, and we didn't take any damage. Nice. Oh, all right, I gotta be careful, the little mole. <laughs> the, the mole and the armadillo up there are new enemies. 
and just trying to learn their patterns is interesting. I'm trying to throw him up there to hit the other guy. That's definitely doable, just not easy. But there's a turkey. Oh, I want to check out the turkey. Ooh, he's in a tough spot. There we go. Throw him down there. Oh no, the turkey! Be safe, turkey. Be safe. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna use the bat to my advantage. Whoa, I can't control the turkey right now. I can't control the turkey. Oh, now I can't, they love me. Ah, no, my turkey! Leave it alone, why are you such a bully? Why are you such a bully? Stop it. Oh, here's a shop. Okay, you wait right there, turkey. Um, I'm gonna throw that over there. It's a spider. Oh no. Um, got it. Okay, so as you can see, we can buy a compass. A compass is useful because it's going to, here's a shopkeeper too. Um, it's gonna tell us where the, the exit of the level is. Uh, we have paste, which will turn our bombs into sticky bombs, rope, and then bombs. I don't know if I really need any of this just real. I'll, I'll buy the paste. That can sometimes be useful. What you can also do, and I do not recommend it, is you can steal something from the shopkeeper and he will attack you. <laughs> but if you can beat him, you get everything for free. Uh, he's very powerful, um, but he also has a weapon that you can use if you are able to beat him. Anyways, with the turkey in my control, we can control the world. Oh, it's Sky again, okay. I'm looking for turkeys, wanna help? Of course I wanna help. So I can deliver this turkey. Thank you, you're welcome. I don't get off the turkey, just like that. Interesting. So I wonder if there's any other turkeys around, and if so, what happens if I deliver them all? It's like a collecting kind of game now. <laughs> Gotta collect all the turkeys. There we go. Gotta get rid of the skeleton if I can. I jumped right over him. The controls are very precise. More than you might expect. But that's exactly what makes it fun to learn. Hmm. Should probably throw up a rope to get that, but at the same time, I don't know if it would be actually financially worth it. We'll keep moving now. I'm not seeing any more turkeys out. Hmm. I'll do that for now. Well, actually, I, I think I hear one. Oh, there we go. There's that turkey I'm looking for. Okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Nice. So somehow, oh, I love that double jump. Is it even gonna be possible to get the turkey up there? Don't know, come on, come on. Nice. I think it would be. Ah, uh, no, not again, not again. I might have to go. I'm so sorry, but I will have to skedaddle from this one because I don't see a way to solve this. All right, um, oh, I'm sorry, turkey. I'm sorry, me, yeah. Uh, Okay, the trick to this one is gonna be, ah, oh, that jump. He moves a lot faster in this game. I swear you used to move a lot slower. Yikes. No, oh, I'm so silly. Oh, you need as much health as you can, so I'd rather not start it like that. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be the one. I have a good feeling about this one. We gotta make sure we're efficient, because if we take too much time, that ghost comes and gets us. And he's hard to maneuver around. Oh, all right. That's all I'm gonna do to these guys. Because they don't drop any money for defeating them or anything, I don't think. You know, there's no worth in going down that way. I can, yeah, get the bat to move and that'll activate it though. So let's definitely deliver this dog and not take any damage. That way I can, I can, um, have more health heading into the next level than I did this level. You can walk into the spikes from the side, but if you jump on them at, at any capacity, that's where it becomes a problem. All right, I'm going to, oh, maybe this one, oh yeah, this one was already activated, I see. There we go. Oh, was that, that one was also already activated. Oh, you know what, some money must have fallen down. Any kind of moving object will activate it. Whoop, haha. <laughs> So let's go ahead and deliver the pup. There's still some extra stuff I wanna find around here if I can. Like it looks like there's two moles. Oh, and I get one of them. Okay, watch it, buddy. I said watch it. I'm gonna use you, I was gonna say as leverage to get up there, but it didn't work. Dah, dude, my health was doing so well and then you had to ruin it. 
where's all this gonna lead to? I just want some extra cash. And I don't wanna deal with this guy. Oh, we got him. Okay, good. Now, don't use that pot. But, nice, awesome. Okay, we're making some stuff work here. I just want some extra cash real quick. Watch it. Oh, is he stuck? I think he's stuck. There we go. Do that real quick. Grab this extra cash, and then I'm just going down here. We're leaving. I missed a gold bar there. I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> I'm gone. Ah! Why? I'm taking this with me. I don't need it, but I'm taking it. So we're back up the two health. Now with the dog. Oh, this game is so tough. Ooh. What's up with that? So that's one of the shopkeepers, and he has a weapon. I keep on thinking this is the last run. So I'm like, ooh, well I have the, the sticky bombs, but I don't. So I don't think I could really bomb that in a way to get into there very easily. Unless I were to put the bomb down and sort of like bake it and then throw it up and then let it explode. But that would be difficult and I only have two bombs. Okay, I'm getting out of here before he starts rolling at me. But I'm guessing that if I were to go in there, he'd start attacking. What is this? Oh no, we got one of the uh, golden idol statues. Those will give you a lot of money if you can get to the end of the level with it. But the trade-off with it is that something, a booby trap will go off. What kind? I'm not really sure if it'll be the same as in Spelunky 1. What is this? I need a key. That's a really cool uh, thing in the background. So let's try to find a key. Wait, I can't bring it with me. Huh. Fascinating. Oh no. Well, there goes that. That was a log trap. Uh, the trunk of a massive tree carved by quill back and strung by, strung up to protect his treasure. I didn't even touch it. <laughs> oh wow. It is what it is. And what about over here? I love the music. Uh, that is not what I meant to do at, at all, whatsoever. I love the music to this game though so far. It's amazing. There we go. Watch it. At one health, even a bat to take us out. So please stop being so clumsy. There we go. Oh, there's the key. There's the key. Let's hope that works. It did. Sweet. Now this is gonna be real risky getting back up there, especially not, not with one, but two of these armadillo dudes. No, oh, the caveman got me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna happen. Oh, I can't wait to unravel that mystery. What could that be? I don't know, but it'll be cool to find out. Might not happen today, but it could certainly happen at some point. Let's grab the pup. So these are already been, you know, triggered. Don't have to worry about that too much. But there's a lot more cavemen in this game. But they were a little bit less common in the original. There we go. Awesome. Oh, oh, I didn't land on him really? Weird. Once again, I don't want to risk it too much, so I might. Ooh. I don't know if the dog actually got hit by that or not. Don't you dare. <laughs> I might just play it safe and get out of here with what I got. That way I can at least break even in terms of health. Don't you dare do that. Oh, you dare. <laughs> you done did dare. Okay. Um. Oh, I couldn't quite get him there. They're tough. They're really tricky. So I was gonna use a rope to get up here, but then I realized I don't have to. You know what I could do is I could sort of squish him in there too. There we go, we're good. And that's where strategy, when you play the game a lot, you can just learn a lot and be able to conserve. Oh, it's one of the dark versions again. Well, what's good about this? Remember is I can light up the torches, get some extra cash for it. Oh, there's turkeys too. So I know of a turkey right here. I wonder if I can hop on the turkey and hold a torch at the same time. There we go, the turkey loves me. I love you too, turkey. Let's grab that, turn that on, there we go. Well, I can't quite get that back up there. That's only, the, the, that's the main problem, and we got one of these again. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. I don't know how many turkeys this guy needs, but hopefully it's only three. 
So if it's only three, we're in luck, because the other turkey's right here. Let's find out. Try not to mess with that little idol, because I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, wow, thanks. Please help yourself to my treasure. Oh, and we get the turkey whisperer. I love this. Um, What's going on in here? We just get some extra cash? Not bad. Thank you for the treasure, sir. I don't think we could get him out of here, so. We're just going to pick up our torch again. And check out what else is going on in this cave. I do see that a couple of scarabs, ooh. All right, we have options here. That's not what I meant to do now. No! Did I hear the turkeys? Oh no, he's not happy. Whoa, he's got a bow and arrow. I am a monster, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. I promise I didn't mean to. Oh, oh, I need to get that. Oh no, I turned one of them. Oh, but that gives me health. Ooh. Okay, he's not happy. Oh, ah! <laughs> no, I got hit by my own arrow. No! <laughs> Ooh, don't mess with the turkey master. You're gonna end up baked. That was crazy. So I hit him with the arrow, but the arrow bounced off of him and into me, knocking me out long enough for him to throw me around and finish the job. That, if that doesn't describe Spelunky, accidentally dropping a bomb into the turkey den, angering the turkey master, and then all of that happening, I don't know what would. That's a Spelunky in a nutshell, the things that can happen in this game. And I love it for it. There we go, getting rid of that guy a little bit easier. That is definitely a skill I want to learn, is how to destroy the armadillos. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Now that one I'm gonna need a rope for. There we go. And what about over here? Gotcha. I think this might be the last one we do, so I'm trying really hard to make it a good one. Huh. We got the same level layout as before. I wonder how common that is. At least for this portion. Okay, let's keep it moving. We made 10,000 there. Not too bad. Food buys a couple of things in the shop. Not rich by any means, but it works out. Okay, so there is gonna be another turkey guy here. But there was a, oh my gosh, I'm so silly. We're down to one health. It's just one, one singular false step can really do that to you. And this is where I'm nervous because that can happen and I want to be good. There we go. I don't know if I can get you up here. No, I can. We're fine. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. I love the turkey headbutt though. It's so powerful. Now for this. Oh, nice move, Turkey. We do have a shop. Welcome to Lou's Weapon Shop. Do you also take the turkeys then? So you have a crossbow for 8,000, a power pack for 16, and a web gun and a present. So I can do something here that I don't recommend doing, is I can pick it up and I can use it. But I, I pressed the wrong button, hold on. Ah, no, no wait, <laughs> vandal. Oh my goodness, I met my untimely demise. I had to try it at least once in today's video. So there we go, there's our first look at Splunky 2. Absolutely fantastic so far. Everything I've wanted and more, just more Spelunky action. So be sure to let me know if you wanna see more of the series or if you wanted me to turn this one episode into a series, I guess is a better way to say it. If not, stay tuned, because we'll be playing plenty of other games here on Zebra's Arcade. Um, there's lots of cool ones coming up. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.